So uh, today's big story, uh, the the biggest, the lead of the of the day is that Tesla has named Robin Denholm as the chair of the board. Uh, she is currently the CFO and head of strategy at Telstra, which is not Tesla, it's Telstra. They are an Australian telecom company. She'll step down from the role in the next six months to be the chair of Tesla full time. Now she was already on the board. She had joined the Tesla board in 2014, so she's already well familiar with the company. Um, and in fact, she is a part of the audit committee, which she is stepping down from in order to assume this new role. Now, Elon has until tomorrow to actually officially step down. So I assume today is kind of his last day as chair of the board. I don't know if there's anything major going on with them. You know, maybe if there is, we'll see um, some decisions or, or, or anything in the, in the future. So I wanted to kind of recap what the media, the mainstream media is talking about with Robin, uh, in case you're unfamiliar with her. Um, so uh, the, one of the funny things is that um, there were a lot of people that wanted this to be a bigger deal than it was. And that includes Gene Munster, who said that this was a missed opportunity. Um, and, you know, that's that's everyone is welcome to their opinion on this. Uh, the question is whether or not Robin will basically be independent enough and she'll be able to challenge uh, the board, who is, you know, a lot of folks that are really loyal to Elon um, and really help them kind of grow. Also, you know, having background in the automotive industry and things like that, like it doesn't, you know, it seems to be kind of, as he put it, a missed opportunity here. Um, so Elon responded to Twitter um, on Twitter about it saying, you know, we'd like to thank Robin for joining the team. Great respect. Very much looking forward to working together. She was already on the team since 2014, but okay, he's talking about the chair. Um, well, a lot of people were essentially unimpressed with it, though, um, and, and there's a lot of t uh, chatter about that. So, uh, you know, CNBC uh, wrote an interesting article about it, um, and then, of course, Gene Munster, and then uh, we got some other headlines here. Um, you know, this was before from uh, from Forbes saying that they need someone with specialized knowledge and the chutzpah uh, to stand up to Musk, kind of the cojones, as we might say here in Southern California. And uh, yeah, they probably didn't get that with her, right? She's not a big high profile, uh, you know, person from another industry or anything like that. Uh, but, you know, she seems to be uh, already on the board, a very capable person. So, you know, we'll have to kind of see what happens. Um, the media is kind of uh, kind of you know short on this uh, i did like this article here from cnbc said that uh, the new chairwoman is boring but that's exactly what the company needs uh by the way why is it that some comp some news outlets say chairwoman and some just say chair like they're omitting woman from that intentionally for some reason i don't know maybe i maybe i'm misunderstanding that but it seemed a little odd i picked up on that from a few uh, news outlets out there uh, so i think this is good i i i really uh like that you have someone here that already is familiar with the company that can help kind of foster it along. Remember in three years, Elon can has said, excuse me, can essentially apply to be back on the board or to be chair of the board, which if he's still interested in doing Tesla stuff at the time, he will undoubtedly, uh, undoubtedly get. So it's, it's a really interesting thing, um, to say the least, but you know, hopefully this just means the end of all the kind of drama with the, uh, the funding secured tweet. And we can kind of put all that past us and we can move forward with, uh, you know, changing the world with actually switching over to sustainable forms of transportation. So, uh, I'm curious what you guys think. Do you have any background, any any strong feelings about this? It kind of feels like no one really does. A lot of people just say, oh, cool. You know, um, I guess, you know, the fact that she's a woman maybe makes uh, her, you know, kind of uh, rare in, in that in that world. I don't really know. But it's one of those things like, you know, ho hopefully this is all seen as a positive um, and there really isn't too much controversy because I think that's what we want to avoid. That's the whole idea behind, you know, someone that's boring um, and that being good for the company. In fact, you know, one of you, one of Tesla's best weeks in, in recent history in terms of their stock price was when Elon basically stayed off Twitter the whole week. So hopefully we can kind of focus on the stuff that matters and making cars and, and you know transitioning us to sustainable forms of transportation instead of kind of the other uh the other kind of self-inflicted wounds so there you go um that's kind of the lead uh curious to see how it plays out we'll stay tuned of course